Wrong! Zero to the power of zero is completely well defined and everyone should know this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh boy, so um, I love Cam's videos, they are fantastic, but this one is full of wrong stuff. He is the one that is wrong many times, so let's go through it. And the funny thing is that he says all the right things and then he draws all the wrong conclusions. What is zero to the power of zero? The truth is that zero to the zero is an indeterminate quantity and it can be conventionally defined as one, but it is not equal to one. Defining it as one, it helps simplify many formulas and it is just convenient and it makes sense in context that if it was to have a value, it would be one, the one that makes the most sense. But it cannot be proved to be one, many people have tried, and all those proofs are either flawed or they rely on a particular definition of what exponent means that makes zero to the zero be equal to one. Well, let's go back to how we define exponent. Let's do that. How do we define an exponent for real numbers first? For real numbers, we always define them as limits because for even something like two to the pi, how would you define this? You would have to define it as two to the something that goes to pi because I don't know how to take a pi exponent, but I know how to do two to the three. I know how to do two to the 3.1 because that's just like taking an exponent and some root that I know how to do. And I can do a limit of two to the X with X going to pi to calculate two to the pi. And zero to the zero is no different. I would have to compute zero to the zero as a limit as something like uh, x to the zero with x going to zero or zero to the x with x going to zero or x to the y, some combination of x to the y with x and y going to zero and see what I get. Take the limit of x to the zero and zero to the x, we get two contradicting limits, meaning zero to the zero has two different values and is hence undefined. Yes, perfect, except that we call that an indeterminate value. Uh, Operation zero to the zero makes no sense over the real numbers because depending how I approach zero to the zero, I get different answers. So it has no value unless I define it to have a particular value for some random reason. Well, not really. Zero to the power of zero isn't a limit. It's a singular value. Mm, I have no idea what he means here. There is no such thing as a singular value except a concept in linear algebra that has nothing to do with this. We define a to the m as a times a m times down to a to the one equals a. We get that a to the one minus one is a divided by a, which must be one. So this is how we usually define exponents. If we're teaching elementary arithmetic to kids, this is how we define an exponent. But uh, what he does here is wrong because if we divide by a, we get one, except if a is zero. So unless he is claiming that zero divided by zero is one, this is just false. What we have here is called the empty product. Okay, so what he's about to do now is again redefine exponents so that any number to the zeroth power is equal to what's called the empty product, which is just the multiplicative unity. So he is literally defining exponents so that zero to the zero equals one. So it is again just a definition, not a proof. One times zero to the m equals one times zero times zero m times. Working our way down to the empty product, we have that one times zero to the zero equals one times. Again, we are dividing by zero from here to here, divide by zero, divide by zero. So again, unless he is claiming that zero divided by zero is one, this makes no sense one times zero to the zero clearly equals zero to the zero, we have that zero to the zero must equal one. From here, he's concluding that zero to the zero is one, but this equation has another solution. Zero to the zero could be just zero. So which one is it? Anyway, zero to the zero can be defined to be one, but it cannot be proved to be one unless your definition is such that it's equivalent to defining zero to the zero to be one.